Alright, so before we start, I just want to clarify that it is generally better to rent your multimeter because that is the path of least resistance. I am so glad my terrible jokes did not scare you away. Welcome back to another episode of Beauty in the Volts. And today we're going to be learning about just the bare basics of using a multimeter. And yes, I said multimeter and not multimeter. So all of you trolls on the soldering video that are criticizing me for saying soldering and not soldering, I'm American, deal with it. At least I'm not saying multi-yard instead of multimeter. So the same way that in the mechanical world you have a ruler to measure things, uh, in the electrical world you have a multimeter to measure things which also makes my multimeter, multi-yard joke a little bit funnier. There's four main things we can measure using a multimeter, and that is DC volts, AC volts, amps, and resistance. And then there is one of the most useful functions, which is just a continuity beep, and we'll go over all of this. Your multimeter will come with two leads. One will be black and one will be red. The black one always goes in ground or your calm line. The red one goes in any of these three, depending on what you're measuring. So in this case, I'm going to be measuring volts, uh, DC volts, which means I'm going to go into the voltage pin. So the first thing I'm going to be measuring is this AAA battery, which has a nominal voltage of 1.5 volts. Um, so I'm going to, when I'm setting my multimeter, round up to 2. Um, and if it were you know, half a volt, I would still round up to 2. If it was 10 volts, I'd round up to 20, which is the next one. So you always want to round up to the next level, per se, on your multimeter. I'm going to hold one side to the negative, positive. Um, so as you can see, we're getting a voltage of 1.6, roughly 1.6, which is spot on. So this is like a ready to go battery. Um, and that goes for a 9 volt as well. All right, so now I'm going to turn it up to 20 because I'm testing a 9 volt battery. It is no longer under 2 volts. Now, if I swap these, that is not the biggest deal in the world at all. I'm actually just going to get a negative sign because it's a negative voltage. The key is to make sure you don't switch these in your multimeter. So you always know black is ground and red is hot. Next, we're going to measure AC volts. And so to do that, I'm going to switch this over to the um, V squiggle side of things, which is the VAC. And then I'm going to put it at 200, which is the rounding up of your typical AC wall in America. That is, and we're in America. I'm going to put my red on my white, which is neutral, and then black, which is hot, actually, in this case. And then green is ground. Oh, now I'm going to switch on my variac, which is my variable AC power supply. And um, so I'm reading at nominally zero now. It's actually 0.3, but I don't know. Uh, and I'm just going to slowly turn it up. And as I do that, you're going to see the AC go up. Um, and that is all we're going to cover for AC, is just how to use that section of a multimeter. If you really want an AC video, leave a comment below requesting it, and if we get enough of those, we'll make one. Otherwise, this is just how to use the AC volt measuring part of your multimeter. So next up, we're going to be measuring current. This is unique, um, and there's several things you have to change about the way you use a multimeter to measure current. So the first thing is we're going to switch from the volt pin over here to the amp pin on this side. And I'm going to go over to the amp side. So for your multimeter to measure current, it has to have a way of measuring flow, which means that it has to take the flow and like see it. Um, and to do that, you have to put it in series with what you're testing, not just like in parallel and not just hover it over. So here we have a basic circuit. That's, it's a motor hooked up to a power supply and that is it. And I want to measure the current that is being drawn by this motor. So what I'm going to do is actually take off one of the leads so Zyla forgot to voice this part over, but you're going to want to take the positive lead from the power supply and run that through your multimeter instead, and then run the ground lead or the calm lead from your multimeter back to the motor, basically putting the multimeter in series with the power supply and the motor. Okay, now the multimeter is in series with the motor, and that is exactly where we want it to be. And so as I turn this on... <laughs> I'm getting a correct current reading on my multimeter. And if you want to see a change as you adjust, oh, we're pulling a different amount of current. It's my biggest fan, because the internet is me. So at least I have one fan. So another really useful function of this fabulous tool is measuring resistance. You're going to want to make sure your red lead is where there is a little ohm symbol. You can just go over to the resistance area, um, and you can even see, like, I can even just test the resistance of my hand, um, because there is some electrical properties of your skin. But 
more usefully, you'd probably be measuring your circuit if I attach my probes to it. So on my multimeter, I am going to put this at 200 because it is a 100 ohm resistor. I'm reading 98.76, which is totally within the tolerancing of this 5% resistor, so it can be 95 to 105. Say I didn't know how to read resistor color bands, and I just grabbed a random resistor. Typically, you just take, you start on one end of, and then just start going. So I actually already got numbers. Um, so that's 1k ohm. Okay, so the last function of the multimeter is in full disclosure, probably the one I use the most often, um, and that is continuity checks. You're gonna wanna put black on conk, shocker, and you're gonna put red on um, ohms because it is basically a resistance check, but it is less than that. You're gonna take your multimeter and just put it on continuity this little buzzy sound, and this is the best thing ever. Okay, ready? <laughs> so basically, if there is a complete circuit, it'll make a sound. For example, we are continuous. We're getting our beep. If Andrew were to come wreck all my things, like usual, there we go, no beep. And so now this wire is useless. Yay, demo, done. So this was actually a very requested video. Um, a lot of you wanted to see how to use a multimeter, and that's totally valid, I'm actually, for like the first year of engineering school, I think I just winged it on a multimeter a lot. So really just knowing your way around your tools, no matter how simple they are, is incredibly important. So hopefully you found that helpful. All right, so if you really hated this video, give it a dislike. Otherwise, you know what to do because it helps us out a lot. And also we've been loving the educational just like conversations that have been happening in our comment section. So please keep it up and we will keep responding to them.